Hi, my friend. Hope you are doing fine. Let's apply the dynamic programming technique in the concepts of mathematics. The concept of mathematics that we are going to pick for this problem is linear equation, where we are going to find the number of solutions of a linear equation of n variables. So let's see what the problem statement has to say. And so the problem statement is simple and sweet. You are given a linear equation of n variables. In our case, n is is 3 because there are three variables you can see and the right hand side of this equation is 5. All you need to do is to find out the total number of non-negative integer solutions of this equation 3x plus 2y plus z equals to 5. All right it's very simple like I said so this is our equation 3x plus 2y plus z equals to 5 this is the first solution so x is 1, y is 1, z is 0. So this is going to be when x is 1, so it is going to be 3. When y is 1, then this second operand is going to be 2 and z is 0. So 3 plus 2 is going to give me 5. Now this is the second solution when x is equal to 1. So it is going to give me 3 and y is 0. So this will become 0. And when z is 2, so 3 plus 2 is going to give me 5. Now I have the third solution where x is 0, so this is going to give me 0, uh, y is 2, so this is going to give me 4 and z is 1, so 4 plus 1 again 5. Then I have uh, the fourth solution uh, in which both x and y are 0 and z is 5, so 5 is equal to 5, alright. And then we have the fifth and the final solution where x is 0, so this will become 0, y is 1, so this will become 2, and z is 3, so 2 plus 3 is going to give me 5. So the total number of solutions of this linear equation, which is 3x plus 2y plus z equal to 5, is 5. And we are going to find this number using dynamic programming technique in our framework. Before we switch to our framework, I urge you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet already and hit the bell icon because this impacts my ability to make videos like such in a direct manner. Now let's switch to our framework. So here we are at the framework. You can see that I have put the coefficients over here. Okay, there are three coefficients, three, two and uh, one. And uh, this is the array which I have created based on the RHS value, which is 5. So our sub problems are going to start from 1 and they are going to go all the way till 5. Now about solving this problem, if you have watched the video which I made on the problem of finding minimum number of coins to reach a particular sum, then the solution of this problem must click to you. All right, so if I interpret it, if I interpret this problem in that language, then I can say that uh, I am given a sum 5 and I have three coins of denominations 3, 2 and 1, which are available to me in unlimited supply. Then I need to find out in how many ways can I reach 5 using the coins of these three denominations. Okay, you are welcome to think it that way. And that is what the linear equation says. Uh, let's start solving this problem so i'm going to fill the entire array with uh, uh, zero okay and i'm going to keep uh, this first cell the zero its state as one because this is going to help me get the value when the coefficient and the rhs in the sub problem are same okay so i'm going to pick uh, this uh, particular coefficient which is three all right and uh, you can see that uh, one is uh, less than three so it doesn't matter here all right, two is less than three. So I can never reach this sum when I have three as the coefficient. You can think that I have the sum as two and I have a coin of denomination three. Can I form two using three? No, right? So no use of starting the iteration here. Now, when I have three, can I form three using a coin of denomination three? Or if you think of it in terms of linear equation, can 3x be equal to 3? Yes, it can be. So how I'm going to get the number of ways? I'm going to subtract this 3 from this 3, which is going to take me here at index 0, where the value is 1. I am going to add 1 to this value. All right. 
okay so this tells me that uh, when i have a coefficient 3 so let's say let's assume our equation is 3x equal to 3 the rhs is 3 now because we are targeting this uh, problem then in how many ways can i satisfy this equation so the answer is going to be 1 obviously when x is equal to 1 then only 3x equal to 3 can be solved all right can be satisfied all right now i move here at 4 okay so yes uh, uh, 4 is greater than 3 so it makes sense all right to do our operation here so i'm going to subtract uh, this 3 from this 4 it's going to take me here on uh, the cell with index 1 here the value is 0 so i'm going to get 0 over here okay i'm going to add 0 to 0 so this is going to get this is going to be 0 this also means when 3x is equal to 4 there is no solution okay there is no possible way to satisfy that equation over here i have 5 so i'm going to subtract a, a 3 from 5 so that is going to take me here the cell with index 2 here the value is 0 0 added to 0 is going to give me 0 that's it all right okay now we move to the second coefficient so it's 2 so i'm going to start from here it doesn't make sense to start from here because 1 is less than 2 so on 2 i subtract this 2 from this 2 i'm going to get over here the index with uh, the cell with index 0 so i have 1 over here i'm going to add this 1 over here i get 1 as the value all right i move over here so i have 3 as the rhs value the sub problem value i will subtract uh, this 2 from this 3 which is going to take me here and uh, here the value is 0 so i'm going to add 0 to this value i'm going to get 1 only all right i move here the rhs changes to 4 now 2 subtracted from 4 is going to take me here here the value is 2 so i have 1 over here i am going to add 1 to this value i will get 1 over here okay so this also means that when our linear equation is 3x plus 2y equals to 4 then we have only one solution okay all right i move over here and i subtract 2 from this 5 i get over here and i have 1 as the value already so i put 1 over here okay now we move to the final coefficient which is 1 so so what i'm going to do i'm going to subtract 1 from this one i'm going to get to 0 i have 1 over here 1 plus this 0 is going to give me 1 now i'm going to subtract this one from this two so over here i reach over here and here the value is one i add this one to this one so i'm going to get the value as two so let's proceed with uh, three as the rhs in this sub problem so i subtract one from this three i reach over here here the value is two two added to this one is going to give me three cool okay one subtracted from this four is going to take me over here the cell with index three so here the value is three so i add this three to this one it's going to give me four cool now over here i have five so i subtract one from this five i reach over here here the value is four and i add this four to this one then I am going to get 5 as the value and this becomes our answer. And if you remember in the previous slide also, we found 5 as the total number of ways of this linear equation of 3 variables. The linear equation obviously is 3x plus 2y plus z equals to 5. Now let's see its algorithm very quickly. So this is our algorithm. Uh, as you can see, there is uh, the outer for loop which is going to run for every coefficient and then there is uh, an inner for loop which is going to start from the cell whose index is same as the coefficient value and it is going to run till the RHS value which is 5 in our case. And uh, so this particular line of pseudocode over here is doing the main thing. LE is our array. So LEJ is going to be LEJ plus L E J minus 
coefficient of i. The time complexity of this dynamic programming algorithm is going to be O n into RHS. So with this we have come to the end of this video. I hope you learned and enjoyed watching this video. Do give it a thumbs up. That helps me a lot. I look forward so much to help you with programming and algorithms. And only for this video, goodbye.